Hey guys, Millie had a good question regarding this problem right here, and I couldn't really email a good um, explanation about how to solve it, so I just decided to make a video that would explain how to do it instead since that would be more effective. So this question has a complex molecule right here, and it is given an uh, HNMR signal. And we need to line these signals up with certain um, protons in this molecule. So I'm just going to start with the most downfield, and we'll work our way upfield. So this peak right here, uh, we have 8.5 or 8 uh, around 6.5, and that is going to line up with benzylic hydrogens. So this peak right here is going to line up with these. Um, this it's a multiplet, but it only has an integration signal of one, which is going to be this one right here, and then these two are going to be these right here. All right, we'll move up field. So this peak right here. Um, in the question it says at 5.4 it may be broader due to weak splitting and overlapping. So it's actually a multiplet. It looks kind of misleading, but it's not a singlet. And at around 6.5 to around 4.5, you're going to have a phenylic hydrogen. And that's going to be this hydrogen right here. That's the only phenylic hydrogen in the molecule other than the benzene ones. But these occur up here. So this is the only hydrogen in the molecule, and this hydrogen lines up with that peak. All right. So now our next peak, it's around like four point. It's at four point nine ish. So at four point five, it's or to two point five, it's going to be um, a hydrogen that's bound to a carbon that's bound to like an oxygen or a halogen, and the only molecule or the only atom in this case would be this hydrogen right here. And it's going to be a little bit higher than 4.5, which is where it's usually found because it's found in like a more electron uh, withdrawing environment due to this carbonyl oxygen. So yeah, this um, hydrogen is going to line up with this peak right here. Okay. All right. So that was the easier stuff, and we'll we'll break this stuff down. Now. So this has an integration of two, and at around 2.5 to 1.5 there's going to be an allelic hydrogen. And I know these hydrogens are usually overlooked, so it's important to know them. So there's only two sets. There could be an allelic hydrogen. These are allelic and these are allelic. So you really have to, you could argue um, which one is it's going to be. And I would argue it's going to be um, these ones right here. Um, it looks like a singlet, but we'll just call it a multiplet because um, it will be split by these. But since it's at 2.5, it's more on the um, upper end. So I would argue that these hydrogens are more de-shielded than these ones over here, since these ones are closer to like an oxygen or carbon carbon. So I would argue these ones are right here. All right, I think that would be a better answer than these ones. Okay. Then right here we have three hydrogens, and it's a doublet. So that means. We have a methyl group basically bound to a carbon with one hydrogen. So the only place in the molecule that that occurs is these right here. So these hydrogens line up with this peak right there. Okay, so this right here, this is actually a doublet. So it's a doublet of six, and that's usually an isopropyl. And the only isopropyl in the molecule is right here. So these hydrogens and these hydrogens are both equivalent and they line up with this peak right here. Okay, this last peak is a singlet, um, which means it's basically a methyl um, bound to a carbon with no hydrogens. Because it has an integration single of three, that means it's gonna be methyl, all right. So it could either be these ones or these ones, since these are the only two methyls that would um, meet the criteria. So since it is um, so upfield, it's around like 0.6, I would argue it's these methyl protons over these ones. So I'd say it's these ones. And I'd argue that because these ones are more um, in electron withdrawing environment, so I would say that they would be a little higher than 0.6. Um, there's definitely a lot of wiggle room in this, but I would still say this is the better answer. So these protons are going to line up with this most upfield peak. And then obviously you have your, um, um, yeah. But that's how you solve this problem, and I hope it solves.